How are you all? Have you been enjoying the London Comic Con so far at MCM? Yeah, yeah it's been yes. a lot of fun. Everybody's thanking us for coming. That's the cool part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's great. And so many love, I mean, people have just done lovely things, bringing us little cards know, or presents. Flowers. 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 <laughs> I know. T-shirts. I got hyper on nice. chocolate yesterday. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We, we've been spoiled rotten. Yeah. Well, we like, we like our manners here. That is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but um, the show is obviously incredibly successful uh, internationally now. Um, I mean, how does it feel for you guys coming back to do a fourth season? Amazing. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very um, exciting because you never know when you finish a season. You kind of you know, don't know what to expect. But with us, it's been kind of bam, bam, bam. And here we are, season four. So it's been, it's been great. <laughs> now, usually um, villains don't last very long in science fiction, but um, what do you think has led to your uh, survival in the last three years and your popularity, really? I think that, um, I mean, the Morgan's become such a sort of dynamic character and, and her interactions with the different uh, characters on the show are, are always very interesting and sort of villain that you love to hate. Um, so you secretly, you know, I think you kind of secretly root for her, be like, no, no, I don't want, you know, <laughs> so, which is I hope to, you know, to achieve that and, you know, four seasons later, hopefully I have, so. <laughs> yeah. I love telling a story, she's right, we were, she wasn't supposed to last past the first season, oh. nor again, but it was a You can't season. kill this face. No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How do you the original no storyline <laughs> was that she was the villain of the first season. Um, and, um, taken down. <laughs> and um, what was your favorite part of being the villain? Do you get to like psych yourself up beforehand before you go on, like kind of the straight face? <laughs> She's very natural. method, so she walks around and she like makes all of our lives miserable. <laughs> slaps, like, like, slaps us around, constant. yeah, calls us names. She do like the double slap, like bam, bam, yeah. like this. And it's just like, oh, there's Manuel Rachel again. Rachel goes to sat with her cheeks just bright red and in pain. No, constant I'm always icing her face. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> well, she's already asked me for riding crop for next year. Yes, so. yes. <laughs> and I wore a horse shirt in her cause. I know. <laughs> I was so pleased this morning. <laughs> the Morgan needs a pony, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Look for season five. Yeah. Morgan on Let's a horse. Let's get this hash, like, hashtag <laughs> trending on Twitter. <laughs> Morgan on a horse. Morgan needs a pony. Morgan on Thanks a horse. A yep. Thank mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, a question for Senya is. Um, what was the first thing that made you fall in love with the character um, when you first read the script? Um, how tough she was, um, her flaws, um, her street sense, and um, also this world that she was thrown in. I'd never heard anything about fays before, so when I read the script I literally imagined like little fairies with wings and I thought, this is an odd show, this is a very odd show. Um, and so I just thought the, the character and, and the world was very refreshing. I had never really seen anything like her before. And um, with your relationship with uh, Trick in the, in the series, um, it's often considered to be a father-daughter bond. Um, what do you think you've been drawing from um, to get that, and how would you describe their relationship? I think it's very special because Trick was her first um, mentor in this world. I think a lot of the other characters have become her mentors, but I think Trick was the the true first one. Um, and Kenzie has never really had a father figure in her own life, so I think that's what you know pulled her into Trick. And and um, Bo trusted him right away, and therefore Kenzie trusted him right away. And I, it's been lovely to see that relationship evolve and. And it started out with Trick just thinking Kenzie was a thief and he was annoyed because she was always stealing his booze and and um, now he's really <laughs> learned to... <laughs> I'm sorry, we have a, a oh, stalker have an outside. <laughs> <laughs> and now and now he's really learned to respect her. So it's um, it's been it's been a wonderful relationship. And Rick Hallen is such a phenomenal actor. Um, I love having scenes with him, so it's it's a joy every yeah. time. And obviously um, you have a lot of, um, you get to play around quite a lot with the wardrobe. I mean, is there anything in particular that, is your, uh, that you've really enjoyed using? Is there anything that you've nicked and kind of kept for your own use? Yes, <laughs> I have tried. <laughs> I have tried. She um, her heels. <laughs> I'm so lucky because um, I get to go into work every day and work with an amazing hair and makeup wardrobe team. And it's a very collaborative process and we're always trying to push the envelope. So every season we're trying to step up our game and 
find inspiration from different images or um, you know whether it's art or music or color I mean everything we just look through magazines we talk about ideas so we get to kind of um, look out into the world and, and see what's happening in the in the fashion world and, and try to rein it into Kenzie and you know and make it Kenzie because uh, she has a very specific style so I enjoy the whole process there's not like one thing that I could pick were you aware of how popular it was when you started and was it challenging to kind of jump in or um, yeah I mean I'd, he I'd heard of the show and um, I'd seen it on television but I I had no idea how popular it was. I, I was just saying in the panel that the night season three premiered and I saw on Twitter that it was, tr I heard it was trending and then I went to check it and it was trending number one and I'm, I remember exactly where I was sitting and just thinking, oh my gosh, this is huge, like that's huge. Um, and then I got a little nervous because I thought, oh, like I've loved shows and you get so used to certain characters and so invested in certain characters and when another character comes in you think like who is this character like get them off the screen I just want to see my favorite characters I don't care about this person like ew <laughs> and you know you just inherently hate them and Jay said to me he's like everyone is gonna hate you and I'm like, <laughs> and like but then they'll love you I was yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Um, and people have, yeah. have just really, I mean, people on set embraced me and um, made me feel so much a part of the family that they'd created over three years. Um, but the fans did the exact same thing. I mean, I've just had like an overwhelming amount of positive they support. They did the very first episode, they jumped on you a bit. Like, we yeah. don't like her, we don't like her, da da da. But then, boom. I mean, I was a bit of a, a beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She was I get it. <laughs> written to be a beep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, how would you describe Tamsin to those who uh, haven't gotten around to see the show yet? Tamsin's a complex little lady. She has, um, I mean, we know that she's a, a dark fae, which is sort of evil, and so she plays for the bad guys. But we're not really sure what her motives are, and, and everything is sort of smoke and mirrors with her. And um, she's... You know she's she's bad, but she's she's very much like you know like most women. <laughs> she's <laughs> nice, but she's also can be very evil. Um, but she's loyal and she's smart and she's resourceful. Um, I I quite I quite love her. <laughs> and um, what would you like to see her happen? Uh, what would you like to see happen to her next um, in the series? If it were up to you. I would love to either see her completely deconstructed and and in many ways ruined, or the opposite direction. I would I would love to see um, there be fulfillment in her life and, and happiness and peace because Tamsin is incredibly sort of tormented all the time. Um, so I, I either just want to see that like push to the limit or the opposite and, and where that can go. That's amazing. And um, just a quick question for Jay. Um, so, I mean, with all the experience that you've had in this business, um, what do you think the most successful thing for Lost Girl was, for why it's become so popular and how, it's, how long it's been able to go on for? Well, we got very lucky because the cast has natural chemistry. Mm -hmm. And that has been the biggest asset the show has had. They click. They, they love working together, they enjoy it. Uh, we, we talk about how we pair them up. Uh, I told um, Emmanuel that in one episode we needed something really cool, so we teamed her up with uh, Lauren's character. I put uh, Ksenia with Chris because there was an emotional bond there, and then I started playing with Tamsin's character this year because she sort of had a great relationship with everybody and people started voting for who they wanted her to have a relationship with. So I can't say where that went, but in season four, we sort of played with the <laughs> fact that the fans wanted her with like all these different relationships. They all were picking you for different things. <laughs> so because she had a chemistry with four or five people, so we had to sort of pick a few. Yeah, yeah. that's a good problem to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little smoochy smoochie going on, but I can't say <laughs> who. And, um, just as one last question for all of you, really. Um, if you could have one power or one ability, what would you choose? 
Oh, I'd be invisible. <laughs> the things you could do if you were invisible. It's kind of creepy. I feel like now that I just said that, it sounds so creepy. <laughs> but I'm just going to stick with it. I'd totally be invisible. That's what I, that was the first one that came to my mind, yeah. but then I was like, oh, that's creepy. I'm really glad you said it, because that's the one I want to do, and I never say it, because it does, for me, as I a guy, it's I love how you're like, I'd end wars, and you're like, <laughs> I'd totally like, be invisible so we can creep on people. But I promise I won't walk into girls' locker rooms. So <laughs> I'd, I'd end wars invisibly. Invisibly. <laughs> <laughs> I could, well, you know what? I would want to be able to teleport myself anywhere. That I would, because then no planes. Or fly. So, ooh, ooh. But then, but how fast? Because if I wanted to fly myself and like s Can say fly to LA to London. Like a fame power. <laughs> that's no, I'm sticking to invisible. <laughs> yeah, that's Final always, answer. That's always been the one I wanted. I'd like to fly. Is that a power? I don't know. That's, that's a good power. Okay. So, I think the rest of the everyone seems to have a bit of mind reading going on as well. I mean, that's... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's well, that is our natural power, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me guess. We're done. No. Yes. Yeah. See? Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, um, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you very guys much. very much.